Hey everyone, it's Lockfire, it's time for another Gundam video. I had a customer send me in this G-Series Meteor. Really nice gun. Uh, silver and black uh, motif on it. Um, they sent the Tactics Gold Chamber and wanted that installed and uh, and just whatever else I could do to it. Uh, they're into upgrades. So anyway, um, this already had a shock tech fronting kit on it. It was installed uh, correctly. Um, and uh, so we did a really nice job on that. Um, it has, so shock tech fronting kit, a tactics gold chamber, uh, meteor valve, shock tech springs, valve and hammer spring. Um, they, these had that metric lug on the hammer, so they replaced it with a war games hammer. Uh, uh, I've modified the hammer um, just for a convenience thing for the set screws. Um, so that was done. Uh, CP rag, uh, easy on off. Um, IVG, I don't know what it is. I think it may be meteor. It's kind of this kind of bronzy color. I haven't seen one like that before. Uh, cocking rod is a meteor. That was a little loose there. Um, what else? Uh, running a Sconey Epsilon barrel because uh, they're great. Uh, if you don't have one, buy one. The price, they're, they're totally worth it. Uh, we did put a shock tech um, uh, timing rod on it, and then it has a Sconey flat face trigger. Um, the trigger in it is a standard War Games uh, chrome, and then a standard War Games um, just sear, not a roller sear. Feels great. Whoever was the original uh, builder did an excellent job on setting that up. It sprung really nicely on that. Um, and outside of that, um, we did put a DFI lug in it. Um, just wanted to. They they had a little lug skip issue, and we think it was the lug. And I haven't had any issues since then. Uh, it was intermittent for the customer. But anyway, the other thing we did, and, and is we actually we put a, a shock tech bolt, so an evolution or the evolution link or an SFL link. If you want to shock it to left side or my side, you want to buy this bolt, it's an SFL uh, bolt, and it's not the 2K, so it's a shorter of the two. They only sell two, and uh, we pulled the meteor bolt. And if you guys look back at my other meteor videos, um, we talk about. Sorry, the vehicle driving by, it's noisy. Uh, we talk about their bolt issues. Um, and it's not an issue if you're running the right trigger plate. If you have a trigger plate that has the oval slot in it, like the old AKAs and the old work and stuff, uh, they're gonna put a little bit more dwell time in the in the um, mechanism that ramp uh, cocking the gun and pulling the bolt back shaving around the ball. And the reason being, I don't know if you can see here, is if you see there, this bolt the same link bolt. This is the SFL, this is the Meteor. And um, if you look at the hole placement, this is in the correct place, the Meteor is lower. And um, so you have to run in an enormous dwell time, or you can run a higher pressure. So if you're running, going that lower pressure, you're gonna see a, that these will not perform that well because of that hole placement. So it's, uh, a lot more air to go through and you have a, you need some duration there. Um, I don't know if this was a mistake by Meteor or, or planned, uh, but uh, real quick, the easy fix, if you have a Meteor that seems like you have to run it at a really high pressure is uh, put a shock tech bolt in there. Uh, you can buy a regular one for me, shock tech, or you can go to Angry Paintball and get an O-ring modded one um, for your Meteor and uh, both work excellent. O-ring is gonna provide about a 10 to, probably 10 to 20 in that range of FPS increase without changing anything else. Um, we'll say five to, five to 15 increase, um, but it, it is a noticeable uh, increase on that. But anyway, you'll see this gun, I was initially kind of having a hard time getting it at about 280 PSI uh, after I put the gold chamber in and um, and literally kind of had it maxed out and literally just dropped the bolt in. And this is what we're shooting now. 
see what it is. Oh, um, not shooting Elsner Anarchy, shooting uh, GI Super Game paint that has the dark fire dust on them. That may be a product that's coming out in testing. Um, so let's see how it shoots. 311, 310, 260, that's a small part. 316, 306, 314, 308. And that was me chopping a ball. Embarrassing, what happens. Uh, but. She's good. I don't know where I chopped it. But anyway, let me uh, drain the last ball out of here. Take the air off. And let's look at the pressure. I'm going to move the camera down. Not that pressures ma matter. And we are going to zoom in a little bit. I can. There we go. Not that it's a big deal. But. And there's nothing wrong with running a high pressure gun. It's, it's perfectly fine. Man, I don't know where I chopped that ball. Uh, but anyway, I mean, hopefully it's not on the bolt. Hopefully it's uh, I just double fed one. That's what I'm hoping. Or it's a messy barrel. I hope it's not a messy bolt. But anyway, we're going to gas this up. Right. If I can get things to turn around here, we're right at 246, 247 PSI. Um, I could probably, and that's at 300 and let's say 10 feet per second. If I go down to, you know, 280, uh, which we're going to try here in a second, it's going to be different. I'll, actually, I'll try it off camera and I'll put the, I'll put the numbers up there. But anyway, let's bring this back to here. As I'm talking, so let me degas this guy real quick. Acorns are dropping like crazy here. It's a complete disaster. Put this back on. And we'll do it off camera. But anyway. Uh, about 300 and uh, let's say average 310 feet per second at 200 and let's just say 250 psi um, pretty good pretty good for that um, and so if you want this same setup you're gonna go to a tactics and you get the gold chamber and you're gonna want to get the pre 2k or the 99 spec gold chamber the one that's for the small banjo bolt uh, you're going to get a Shock Tech bolt, either from Shock Tech, myself, any other of the dealers that are selling out there. If you want an O-ring modded one, you have to go to Jason Amtel, uh, Angry Paintball. Um, you can use the uh, factory hammer if you don't want to change it. Just you have that metric lug, not the end of the world. Uh, they have a CP rag. You pick the rag you like on that. And then, obviously, obviously Shock Tech bolt. And you'll be in that range. It will put you in a nice range. Oh, the IVG, real quick. The IVG is... I did it one turn from flush. I like a little bit of maneuverability there. Uh, and this person's going to do all the adjustment off the reg and not off the IVG. And so um, you can play with that a little bit. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Meteor. Tactics Gold Chamber. Shock Tech pneumatics, Shock Tech bolt, uh, CP reg, Shock Tech springs, valve springs, and uh, you'll get somewhere in that same thing. So it's kind of a pre built, pre done. These meteors are really nice guns. Anyway, talk to you.